No matter who you are or where you're from, food is a big deal. It's human fuel. And while we've spent years trying to make it taste as good as possible, I think it's fair to say that a few wrong turns have been made along the way. And I'm not just talking about pineapple on pizza. They say that people either eat to live or they live to eat. But if you like any of these crazy foods, you're probably in a different category altogether. With that said, let's take a look at some foods that probably shouldn't exist. Amazing. Number 20. Whole Canned Chicken Now, I don't know who this sweet Sue is, but she's got a lot to answer for. Just the idea of shoving a perfectly good chicken into a can is not only bird-brained, it's offensive to chickens everywhere. The compacted bird emerges from the can so coated in grease that it might as well be wearing a plastic poncho. And the only way you'd get me to eat this canned monstrosity was if it was the last thing left in the nuclear bunker post-apocalypse. Number 19. Black Hot Dog Do you like eating stuff that looks burnt? Didn't think so. But clearly, whoever came up with this charcoal-colored monstrosity thought otherwise. Unsurprisingly, this foot-long ninja dog came not just from Japan, but Japanese Ikea, which kind of explains everything. It's made with edible bamboo charcoal and was created to celebrate Ikea Japan's 10-year anniversary. Apparently, it's supposed to have detox properties. And fair enough, I'm about to detox everywhere just by looking at it. Number 18. Ranch Dressing Soda Ranch is America's most popular dressing. It's a favorite prop of insane comedian Eric Andre and is pretty well known to go with everything from buffalo wings to pepperoni pizza. But one wacky food scientist called Lester has found the one thing it shouldn't go with. Soda. While I appreciate Lester's innovation, I can't help but dry heave when I think of a herby liquid that's supposed to be both creamy and fizzy. Sour milk and chives, anyone? Lester has a bunch of other flavors to try, like pumpkin pie, sweet corn, or bacon soda, but carbonated ranch is where I draw the line. Number 17. Mountain Dude Mountain Dew Fudge As if the idea of green fudge wasn't enough, one kooky confectioner on Etsy has decided to take the chewy caramel goodness of fudge and make it radioactive. Dentists all over the world will be rejoicing at this combination of the two most cavity-producing substances known to man, but I for one will be steering well clear of these $12 sweet and sour Hulk chunks. Number 16. Lobster Flavored Ice Cream Don't get me wrong, I'm a huge fan of experimentation with ice cream flavors. Where would we be without Ben & Jerry's classic fish food? What nobody asks for, however, is chunks of crustacean in their ice cream. Yet Ben and Bill's Chocolate Emporium of Maine decided to do it anyway. Just thinking about this lobster ice cream makes me want to take a long walk off a short pier. But what else did we really expect from Maine? Maybe just stick to the lobster rolls, fellas. Number 15. The Fluff Screamer Deep in the heart of Schuylkill County, Pennsylvania, there lurks a monster. It's gooey, meaty, spicy and chewy, and it's coming for your arteries. Behold the Fluff Screamer. A griddled hamburger topped with onions, butter, chili paste, and marshmallow fluff. This hyper-regional burger has been around since the 70s, and the record for number of screamers eaten in one sitting is 14 and a half. Did that person survive? Who knows? But one thing I do know is that while this burger probably shouldn't exist, I'm kind of glad it does. Number 14. Seaweed Pie Canada's Prince Edward Island was once the Irish moss capital of the world. And what in the bejesus is that, I hear you ask? Well, it's actually a type of seaweed that contains carrageenan, a thickening agent used in ice cream and toothpaste. Locals thought it would be a good idea to put this seaweed into a dessert. And just like that, seaweed pie was born. I guess its existence makes sense if you're stuck on an island surrounded by the stuff. But seaweed is seaweed, folks. And I'll be damned if it's going anywhere near my precious pies. Number 13. Fruit Pizza the placement of fruit on pizza is perhaps one of the world's most controversial topics. The jury's still out on pineapple, but I think we can all agree that this kind of thing is a criminal offense. While in certain arrangements it can look sort of beautiful, there are plenty of examples that are just plain wrong. At a certain point you have to ask yourself, 
Is this really even pizza anymore? I think we all know the answer to that question. But then again, tomatoes are a fruit, so I'm not sure this issue will ever be resolved. Number 12, fermented shark. Okay, I'll admit it. Claiming that certain foods shouldn't exist is a minefield of cultural sensitivity. Not everyone in France likes frog's legs, and nobody outside the UK likes jelly deals. But about Iceland's fermented shark, we have to ask, what were they thinking? Greenland shark is poisonous when fresh, and even the fermented meat contains large amounts of ammonia, which gives it a strong smell of urine and cleaning products. World-renowned food writer Anthony Bourdain described Harcarl as the single worst, most disgusting, and terrible tasting thing he has ever eaten, while UK-based chef Ainsley Harriet described it as like chewing a urine-infested mattress. So if anyone even thinks about coming near me with one of these stench cubes, they'll end up like this guy. Number 11, Kasumarzu. A world without cheese would be a pretty sad place but it might be a safer place if this particular cheese didn't exist. This is Kasumarzu, a Sardinian cheese that's basically pecorino, except that it's riddled with maggots. The cheese is illegal in the EU, but can still be found on the black market. It's made by allowing a cheese fly to lay its eggs on a wheel of pecorino, after which maggots start to eat their way inside. Sardinians claim that the maggots must be alive when the cheese is consumed, otherwise it's become toxic. Eating kazumarzu can cause burning, skin crawling sensations that last for days, and there's also a chance you'll get an intestinal larval infection. Need I say more? Number 10, peanut butter and mayonnaise sandwich. In comparison to maggot cheese, this combination is pretty tame, but it's still sickly nonetheless. During the Great Depression, the combination of PB&M became a staple in southern households because of its high calorie combination of protein and fat. Mayonnaise was also supposed to reduce the coarseness of the heiress rustic peanut butter, making it more spreadable and palatable. In the modern day, however, there's ultra spreadable Skippy and a variety of oilier alternative nut butters to use that don't require thinning. But seriously, it's peanut butter and mayonnaise. Could you really trust someone who enjoyed this combo? Other than your toothless grandma? Number nine, True Moo Mint Vanilla Milk. Move over mint ice cream and say hello to minty milk. If you were ever desperate to replicate the gag-inducing sensation of drinking milk after brushing your teeth, this is the drink for you. True Moo released this terrifyingly green milk for St. Patrick's Day, a holiday that gives permission for anyone to turn whatever they want green, and it was soon discontinued. Whether it was the greenness of the milk or the strangeness of the flavor, I'll never know. But what's clear is that this product was subject to the natural selection process that is capitalism and ceased to exist as a result. Number eight, sushi pizza. Just when you thought you'd seen enough of other foods masquerading as pizza, in step sushi. The so-called sushi pizza was invented in Toronto in 1993 by a man called Kaoru Oshada. He would freeze leftover sushi rice into patties, which could then be fried the next day and topped with fish. And just like that, sushi pizza was born. Oshada's background is in French cooking, and he's not a trained sushi chef, which explains why he was able to commit this artistic crime against both sushi and pizza. While I respect the invention Oshada showed, let's be honest with ourselves. This is not pizza, and nor is this monstrosity, which makes me want to rinse out my eyes with soy sauce and snort wasabi. Number seven, canned fish mouths. Russian food doesn't need a bad name. Pickled herring, borscht, and vodka are what spring to mind when you think of their cuisine. But if there's one thing that could make that reputation worse, it's canned fish mouths, one of which seems to have maintained a healthy set of vicious teeth. I'm not sure who's eating these or what sort of dish they're used in, but that looks more like something I'd flush down the toilet before it got too big than anything I'd consider eating. Number six, canned pig brains and milk gravy. In this next installment of post-apocalyptic canned food you wouldn't eat if you were starving, I bring you pork brains and milk gravy. I'm not sure there needs to be more of an explanation as to why this shouldn't exist, because I'm not sure you could come up with a more unappetizing combination of words if you tried. For some reason, these chunks of cerebra are a southern delicacy and can either be deep fried or enjoyed with scrambled eggs to satisfy the morning zombie in all of us. To nobody's surprise, they're the only pork brains left on the market. So get them while they're still conscious. Number five, 
Cherry Blossom Flavored Lays. Do you get that unmistakable feeling in the fall where you just want to take a big bite out of a cherry blossom tree? Well, thanks to the Japanese division of Lays, now you can. Or at least you could when these chips were available. Offering a flavor more suitable to a bar of soap than a bag of chips, I'm not sure what Lays were thinking with this one. But hey, at least the bag looks cute. Number 4. Gummy Bear Bratwurst in the small town of Hugo, Minnesota, a butcher called Spencer Grundhofer has figured out the secret to the perfect bratwurst, gummy bears. What started as a joke quickly developed into seriously popular sausage, and he's also experimenting with substances such as grape Kool-Aid. This is what happens when you experiment with substances, kids. While this insane sausage probably shouldn't exist, at least someone's come up with a way to irritate every single German at the same time. Number 3. Rainbow Grilled Cheese Are you a rainbow spewing unicorn kind of person? Well do I have the grilled cheese sandwich for you. 2016 saw the beginning of a trend where people would add various food dyes to individual bowls of cheese, which could then be lined up between slices of bread to create a Willy Wonka-esque cheese hammock. This neat DIY trick is a surefire way to impress your rainbow loving peers, and while this kind of thing probably shouldn't exist, I'm pretty happy that it does. Number 2. Fried Chicken Ice Cream Of all the delicious foods we have to thank Japan for, this might be the best. It combines two of the most indulgent foodstuffs in the world into one handy mouthful. I am, of course, talking about fried chicken ice cream. In 2016, a great year for food, a fried chicken festival in Fukuoka offered soft serve ice cream flavored with courage the Japanese word for fried chicken. Sources claim that the poultry-based ice cream was both sweet and salty, as well as refreshing. This comes as welcome news after the cruel April Fools played by Perry's Ice Cream when they claim to have released a chicken wing flavor ice cream. Once again, the Japanese have brought something that shouldn't exist into existence, and the world is a better place for it. Number 1. Spaghetti and Meatball Cone is this what happens when an Italian hand gets perfectly mummified? Whatever the case, it make them cry. The spaghetti and meatball cone was created by Kyle Marco, also known as the vulgar chef. For lovers of pasta, this is either a blessing or a monstrosity, but one thing is for certain, it's totally unnecessary, but in kind of a brilliant way. Whenever you think about the gelato-shaped meatball or the crunchy deep-fried spaghetti cone, you have to applaud the vulgar chef for achieving something that would infuriate the entire Italian nation. Its creator even created a video of how to make it. Sorry, Giuseppe. So which one of these inventive and insane foods do you despise the most? Or maybe you'd like to try a few. Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.